Hi. Hi, guys, how's it? Uh, it's me. So I've gained weight, as you can see, but this is not about how much weight I've gained. I did let you guys know that I'm going through a lot, so because of that, I haven't been working out as a result. This is me. But anyway, I am on the way to Chinatown to purchase, hopefully if I can find them, some wigs, because I got helped, right? Or oh, one wig, just one, like really. What am I talking about, some wigs? In order to aid uh, the further growth of my hair, I spoke about that in my previous video, and I also uh, wrote about it in my blog. My hair is thriving. It's doing really well despite pulling it out and neglecting it, abandoning it, leaving it in a protective style until it mats, and so takedown is just near on impossible. I spoke about that. I wrote, actually, about that in a piece. So I'm not gonna labor. Go read it either on Facebook or in my website right now i just want to show you so that you can be aided those of you who are struggling what i do in order to make sure that my hair looks like this okay i'm gonna go down so you don't look at my behind uh it's grown quite a lot uh, it's doing just absolutely excellently and i want to show you what it is that i've been taking every day for about like two years now and it has contributed to the clearing up of my skin as you can see and it has also contributed to the growth of my hair that you might be aided in your particular cause if you're struggling suffering and people are trying to make you feel as if though there's really no way out of this rabiosh so i'm gonna grab the camera and flip it around in order that you might be able to peruse the inside of this cupboard which is where i store my stuff all right uh and then i'm gonna show you a drink of mine that currently is very bitter because i mistakenly put bitter aloe in there because i was experimenting with it and i won't do it again uh you don't have to i am gonna ride it out since i bought it but it's just as much too bitter otherwise the drink actually tastes really good because i add sugar and i mix a whole bunch of things in them and then we're gonna sorry i am poor so I don't have things like stands for cameras and what have you. I apologize. Whatever. So my phone fell. Nonetheless, we've got editing software that can mix things together. Put them together. Anyway. Yeah. No. So we're going to go and purchase a wigs in order to protect our hair better, guys. Because I've just been having a really hard time. But before that happens, I want to show you my theme about me because i said that i'm gonna flip the camera and just run you through what it is that i consume every single day without fail and i believe it has contributed to all these all these and the thickness of it to the girth like what okay so let's get luck like, begun and stuff okie dokie hello i bet you recognize my voice okay this is my stash you guys and i want to show you what it is that i utilize um, okay let me move this out the way i bought this really cheaply go chinatown which is where i'm going uh right now 420 hyaluronic acid vitamin c retinol and some scar treatment thingy bobby i keep it here in room temperature because in the shack back there it gets really hot and can mess with the uh chemical composition of these products that's another story for another day that's for skin i am currently experimenting so i can't report any good news or lack thereof because i've only been using them for three weeks and apparently you need to be on retinol for five months for it to show any results my aim with retinol is to just get that gloss skin so we'll see if it works okay anyway whatever so here it is and it's really cheap i got like all these th things for for 120 rands i ain't got no money to be buying real like hard knock like estee lauder stuff type setup thing you get my point anyway let's just move on all right we'll talk about that in five months i will revert back to this particular clip and let you guys know that remember i bought that written all hey look at me having glass skin okay whatever right so let me just show you what it is that i purchase that goes a long way for me like literally one purchase lost me two two three months okay um what you're looking at here well i've obviously bought sunflower seeds but i mixed them in the bag with sesame seeds that's what residue you're looking at there at the bottom i just mix them for storage uh, purposes so that it doesn't 
so I don't just like cramp up this environment that used to be moringa it's empty now but I keep the containers because sometimes I just need to use them but I mixed up the moringa somewhere else and I'm gonna show you where uh, it is that I mixed it up that's why a little goes a long way because I, I do a concoction I mix them up all right what you're looking at in there is like you know how I said uh, moringa I bought it this is the one that I bought some months ago it's obviously not moringa what you're looking at inside here this is rosemary you guys and I wanted to like store it somewhere so this is rosemary okay rosemary you guys uh, and then cayenne pepper gotta love cayenne a bit sorted with it beside myself with it with adoration for it this is a uh, flax powder it has to be powdery guys because flax seeds will go out of your digestive system same way that they came in if you don't grind them then you're going to lose the nutritional benefit the only uh, thing that i would recommend you purchase flax seeds for is if you're going to be making flax gel for hair or skin or whatever as a mask otherwise um you're better off if you're going to be consuming it which is what i use it for uh, purchasing it in powder form otherwise you're wasting time that's why i don't buy that seed mix from Discam because it has got linseed in it and linseed literally it goes in your body and out the other side because it um there's something the called whatever like the casing of it naturally just does not digest in your body so it's just a waste all right unless you've got the kinds of teeth that make like a blender that can grind it inside your mouth before it goes to your belly otherwise you're going to be just you know wasting all right what you're looking at here is a mistake i made yesterday but i generally don't make mistakes i bought these products some of them yesterday uh but all along i have not been doing this i was experimenting with something because i was listening to this one lady who does hair videos online by the name of mercy gono and she uh, advised that we should try to see if we can't consume aloe uh to try and grow our hair and i was like hmm, let me see if i can't buy aloe and i bought aloe but guess what i bought i bought bitter aloe bitter aloe you guys and it is not a joke the bitterness is not a joke so i mistakenly because i just do these concoctions where i'm mixed up i thought that it would be edible or, you know just like put it in some coffee it was so bitter that i i found myself regretful so i basically wasted my cocoa i didn't waste it i am going to buy cocoa uh one moment guys one second I'm going to buy cocoa again uh, because I, I really love it in my coffee I tried to make it with my coffee and it didn't work out so what you're looking at inside here is a combination of cocoa bitter aloe mistakenly uh, and rosemary and I think I put some fenugreek seeds in there as well maybe even some chia I'm not really sure uh, so that whole mix I'm not gonna waste it I just like I'm gonna have to hunker down and drink it um, over the next couple of months the one or two or three however long this is gonna last me uh, but I will never do this again like bitter aloe unless it like makes my hair grow so violently and makes my skin look so good that it's worth the while for me to take the bitter aloe in my stride but i would definitely take it going forward as a shot and not a whole drink that i have to like take five seconds to down all right but in order for me to have decent coffee without the bitterness in it i'm gonna purchase cocoa separately and you know have that for my coffee but otherwise like be afraid be very afraid of bitter aloe i will like show you the results of it if it worked if it's worth it to just take that bitterness in your stride but there's likely a better way to prepare it so as to not like be smashed and cracked in your skull by how bitter it is so that's the concoction that i have in there all right these are okay so i tend to buy these in bulk because i feel i literally by far believe that fenugreek has been the biggest contributor to the clearing of my skin and the growth of my hair so i i tend to stock up on fenugreek quite a lot and fenugreek is uh delicious i like to eat it guys i drink it i like i do it and like you find it in acha it's just about everywhere i add it in everything like coffee whatever literally i add fenugreek seeds and then i chew them at the end of my coffee drink uh they're better when you steep them in water overnight like 24 hours and then drink the liquid because uh, then they have pretty much matured they've gotten to a point where consumption is um, at its optimal point and nutrition value is also at its optimal point when you steep them in water but i also have them every morning with my coffee 
uh, and so yeah chew them at the end because they get all soft they kind of like cook in your coffee or whatever love them so I tend to buy them in bulk so that I never run out because I literally believe that these are the miracle worker in my hair and my skin and I don't even put them in my hair believe it or not I've been eating them and they've just made like a massive difference so this is an unopened uh, box of uh, fenugreek and that fenugreek is also in here and it's also in there because like I put fenugreek everywhere even in my coffee every morning I have fenugreek okay alrighty uh, well cinnamon I uh, absolutely love cinnamon like y'all can't nobody separate me from cinnamon and this is not even about a health thing it's about uh, cinnamon is my chocolate it's my guilty pleasure except it's healthy so it just works out I, I eat it dry and it sometimes makes me choke up and cough a storm but I don't care because it is delicious uh, so as you can see here it's more cinnamon this is the old cinnamon that I had this is one that I bought yesterday can never be some like things that I never ever make sure that I'm out of Fenugreek Greek and cinnamon absolutely so um all fenugreek is equal but some fenugreek not fenugreek sorry all cinnamon is equal but some cinnamon is more equal than others so uh the cinnamon yako lifestyle food is the best by far for me in terms of taste really um this one is a little bit too spicy for my liking but i have it so i'm gonna finish it and when i'm done with it i'm gonna move back to that one which is less um spicy too hard knock turmeric can never go wrong with turmeric but with turmeric you also need to make doubly sure that you don't add too much because you can get sick from it so um i did let you guys know in the article that i wrote that i use a quarter guys a quarter of a teaspoon of these ingredients um every day so don't overkill all right um that that's all that i'm gonna give you when it comes to measurements cloves i'm experimenting with this i just bought it yesterday but people spoke like large la, 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 they spoke praises they sung great praises for it for hair growth so i drink it because <laughs> i realize that these things that are good for your hair externally tend to work internally too because they somehow help you grow it from the inside out and that's the best kind of growth right so cloves um yeah i bought the powder because you know we like powders because they neither make they easily go into teas coffees and what have you without you having to steep anything for like ten thousand years and the fiber also goes a long way it helps you go to the bathroom just in case you're not regular okay um white pepper i did let you guys know uh that i also add white pepper that tends to be readily available in the house cinnamon more of it like i literally can never have enough cinnamon uh rosemary it was so it was so cheap that i just decided that i'm gonna buy a whole bunch of it because remember guys i'm broke every so often i get helped out but when i run out of money uh, these ingredients aren't always available so i like to have a baseline that is always there like for instance i've always got the cheaper ones are always available because they, they there's like you, you can buy a lot of them in bulk and they'll last you literally like four five months okay like flax powder is super cheap and it lasts for like ever in a day so too that's Fenugreek. greek it's also super cheap lasts forever in a day moringa is expensive i sometimes run out of it uh rosemary is cheap lasts forever in a day sunflower seeds are cheap and sesame seeds cheap last you forever in a day because they tend to also sell them in these big boovy packets cocoa is not the cheapest but it's among the cheaper ones lasts you for like ever in a day cinnamon also super cheap turmeric also super cheap lasts you forever in a day so the ingredients that are really very cheap i tend to always have them and they make up for those that are not sometimes there because i'm broken i don't have money to resupply okay uh, and among those that are always around like i said cinnamon fenugreek turmeric cocoa sunflower seeds and uh, uh sesame flax powder i mentioned uh, cinnamon right and rosemary as well uh constantly available white pepper my mom just always buys it uh, and when i run out of ingredients that i have purchased i just go into my mom's stash see what it is that she has uh that she cooks with and i add parsley just in case i'm out of something maybe it's got nutritional benefits that i don't know uh she just has these like she just keeps on buying these like funny little herbs for cooking pepper is always available as you can see this is like the household's supply and not so much my own uh, mixed herbs stuff like that I, I i use my mom's alternatives when i'm out of money and i there's just nothing it's dry it's deserty it's kalaharic in my life financially but then when i have been able to, just like i recently have been enabled i just leave my mom's stuff alone because we just leave her to cook and so that her groceries don't run out quickly and i use my own things so like i said things are always in uh, available supply turmeric as you can see this turmeric is running out and i'm going to be going in with this gangster next 
all right i told you rosemary buy in bulk because it's just there it's available and what's in here senna leaves this is an experiment i just got it uh yesterday and i want to see what it's going to do for me because i'm trying to go leafy vegetables or whatever or dark green leafy which you know is really great about that antioxidant business i don't know so i'm experimenting and i had my first cup of coffee with it yesterday and i also had my first drink with it this morning and i felt really excellent so whatever okay cool now what you're looking at up there is how it is that i make a little go a long way you guys this little monstrosity over here one minute i apologize i'm back okay had to put my phone down what you're looking at here i was opening it okay this as you can see getting a little bit closer what is in here is a combination of ginger powder this is how i make stuff stretch me out very long it's a mixture of ginger powder i think i added two sachets ginger is also really cheap and it makes your drinks absolutely divine have you ever had ginger ale oh my goodness right Kremer type setup thing you'll be taken back to like good old-fashioned days ginger is in here Two sachets the this concoction over here with sunflower seeds uh and and sesame seeds i added them in here so this is going to be sitting around for as long as it would take for me to finish this so when this is done i've still got these that's what i mean by a little goes a long way so in here i have got ginger i've also got um let me get closer so you can see what i'm talking about i don't want to pick at it with my fingers lest you should find it gross so let's grab a spoon we've got sunflower seeds bet you can identify them we've got fenugreek seeds bet you can identify them there that's fenugreek this is a sesame seed this tiny little baby over here sesame uh the green that you're looking at all over the show that's moringa so this purchase of moringa look it's only 100 grams i put it in here and look how much it has spread me out over four months now it spread me out over three months now when it was just in here if i had taken little scoops of or a quarter of moringa out of this it would only last me one month but when i mix it like this the whole concoction lasts me about three to four months okay so uh oh yeah and then these are green tea leaves this like blackish thing that you're looking at here this that that's a green tea leaf yeah they've just been all compressed and what have you i don't know if you can see you probably can't but there are chia seeds in here there are totally chia seeds in here all right again chia seeds not the cheapest but also not the most expensive uh and you need quite a bit of them in order for them to do anything in your life so i just like mix them up with a whole bunch of things to add the nutrition power pow pack thing and it just works like a baby i'm glad i did not add that bitter aloe in here because i would be so sad because this concoction is so delicious in coffee guys or tea it's just so great and the thing that i think makes it great is the ginger it, it tastes absolutely excellent uh i then also yeah i think that's it right i don't know i'm i'm trying to like sift through here to see if there's anything that i'm leaving out but it's definitely ginger sunflower seeds sesame seeds um uh, fenugreek as well as chia seeds and moringa and mix 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 it up a storm and oh yes hemp thank you that's also another thing that's what made it has made it a little bit green too hemp seed powder is also in here all right uh mix it up mix it up mix it up now what do i use this concoction for i literally take grab like perhaps maybe that much of a spoon in my coffee every single day all right uh and i also yeah instead of individual like you know like just ginger on its own blah 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 i put this in my coffee every day so my coffee always has sunflower seeds it always has sesame seeds it's nice and chewy i love it like i think you guys have seen me drinking coffee and i always like to say oh my coffee so chewy it's delicious it's because it's got like seeds in it all right uh when i am not fasting i have my my fill of oatmeal and sunflower seeds not sunflower sorry what is this pumpkin seeds uh in muesli that's why i don't buy them uh separately these uh so what is this pumpkin seeds because there's quite a few of them in muesli as you can see there but i'm currently fasting so i'm not having breakfast meaning i'm not having muesli but uh that is more than made up for elsewhere okay yeah so i have already explained to you all of my ingredients and what uh, i do so how it is that i prepare them i told you a quarter of them inside my little shake glass bottle thing all of them so in here there's all these ingredients so what i do with my drink every week because i have like six of these bottles i'm going to show you now uh i add a quarter as you can you know that there's no cinnamon in there so i add a quarter of cinnamon there's no flax powder in there so i add a quarter of flax powder a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper um rosemary uh <laughs> 
also add a quarter of rosemary right in there and also senna leaves but rosemary was in here and i would have just easily just you know used the rosemary that way instead of having to use it this way i do add this in my coffee with the rosemary as well but because of the bitter elo now i'm gonna have to just refashion things because it's, it literally tastes too horrible for me to put it in my coffee okay that was a mistake but anyway we'll see if it pays off despite it being a mistake I add a, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, uh, yeah, I believe, and also a quarter of a, of, of a teaspoon of cloves. Yes, fenugreek seeds, they're already in that establishment, uh, and they're also in here. So, you know, two bouts, I I usually would take a scoop of this and add it in my coffee because cocoa is really delicious with coffee, but unfortunately, I've added bitter aloe. So I have to go and buy cocoa now, the version of it that doesn't have bitter aloe in it, and the one with the bitter aloe, I'm just reserving it for this drink that I just down like it's punishment every morning all right so cool these are my ingredients that I mix in one little concoction and here it is in the refrigerator all right I make six of them I've already had one this morning so now there's five uh, this concoction is currently very terrible tasting right now because of the bitter aloe however when there is no bitter aloe the mistake that I made yesterday it's actually really divine because I add sugar yes some people might be like no the sugar's not good for you but remember I don't have options guys and I'm suffering I don't have sugar alternatives I cannot use honey because it's too expensive so I just use sugar to make it go down easier and it is really delicious I drink it absolutely cold from the refrigerator like a smoothie because it's really delicious but first I mix it up uh, you know put a spoon in there shake 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 and then go 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 down it chew the leaves chew the fenugreek seeds swallow them whole and whatnot and that's all I take for a day this drink is really delicious believe it or not um i don't want to shake it up because this mason glass jarry thingy my bobby is not as like watertight as i would like it to be it's not as water sealed as i would like it to be but i tend i tend to use a spoon guys like in the morning i open it up and i mix it mix and then i drink it ah it didn't come out okay i was expecting it to spill but it didn't that's what it looks like in the morning when i drink it and i'm like literally and it's not bad it's actually quite delicious i like it i enjoy it i look forward to it i feel a burst of your energy immediately afterwards but these days i'm not that happy because you know it tastes like bitter elo and that is a mistake but like i said i'm gonna sit it out for however long it takes for this to finish my camera focus yeah, there we go. I'm going to set it out for however long it takes for this to finish, guys. Um, because I want to experiment with the aloe. I really do. I shouldn't have bought the bitter version. I should have bought the version that doesn't have the bitter taste in it. But for whatever reason, I've got the bitter one. I can't waste it because, you know, don't nobody waste in my life. I may very potentially... Uh, I don't know what to do with this. Like, I have to keep drinking it, but it's really terrible and it's messing with my drinks. So I might just find a way to package it so that it is not so bad and not put it in my drink. But but, you know, we'll get that one. Yeah, okay, so let me put this back in the fridge. Uh, this is a concoction that I have made using all of these ingredients and I have just one of this a day and guys It has done. I don't know if you can see me properly This is what this thing has done for my hair for my skin. It's clear. I don't have acne It has kept my weight downish even though I haven't been exercising. It's really done wonders for me like miracles upon miracles I don't know if you can see me usually when I record my camera face is facing me so I can see but whatever it is That you're looking at right now is as a result of this thing that I'm doing uh, and I'm grateful to the most high for that and I just wanted to aid you guys in that regard but that's not it okay um when I have money which is not very many times I found out the uh, some time ago that apple cider vinegar starts your day basically met metabolically and also helps with skin clearing uh, and also helps you know with weight loss <laughs> currently I need to lose weight that never used to be an issue but I've stopped working out so I've got issues um, and also I struggle to eat fruit you guys like in vegetables like just a healthy diet I really struggle with it so sometimes I incorporate things in a way that's just really simple easy like just get it out the way so I've made a juice like whatever fruits are available whatever my mom buys uh, I take them lemon and apple cider vinegar must be in that concoction and then here as you can see here there's peaches there's like this beautiful prickly pear I believe that's what it's called over there there are mangoes okay there were mangoes I don't know what happened to them uh, and here there is pineapple and watermelon uh, so whatever it is that is available I just take like small portions of them put them in the blender that's what I did yesterday mix it up mix it up mix it up 
and then uh, add apple cider vinegar to that mix uh, alongside a lemon well the lemons I blend them with all the other fruit and I add like a whole bunch of water to last me about six or seven days for me it's about meal prep doing it every day would be annoying and boring for me but I do it every day uh, sorry I do it once a week and you know and then after six days we're back again to the drawing board so here's the apple cider vinegar I of course bought the cheapest one but it has to have the, the mother for the enzymes there we go apple contains the mother there we go okay so the apple cider vinegar i bought it because i found out that apparently it gets rid of product buildup but i also drink it uh all right and i made this little chemer that you're looking at back there that's a fruit juice let's focus that fruit juice that you're looking at back there uh, i have one glass of it in the morning all right um to just stop my metabolism after drinking this monstrous shake well it actually is delicious except this like I, now it's bitter i've explained that to you i drink it and then that's what starts my day and then a couple of maybe an hour or two later i have my cup of coffee and then that's what i'm currently fasting if i wasn't fasting i would with my cup of coffee also have muesli which i uh eat with yogurt and some uh, raspberry jam or strawberry jam which is currently finished oh no it's not because i yeah raspberry jam mixed berry jam with uh this uh plain yogurt and a little bit of milk i am a little lactose intolerant but i don't have money to keep on buying uh you know lactose free milk alternatives so i just kind of take it in my stride and then i have oatmeal and i do believe that that has really gone a long way for me as well muesli is oatmeal and this muesli is mixed berry mixed let me show you it mm, yeah it's this one from woolies and it's like got apples mixed berries all different like blackberries blueberry not blackberries blueberries raspberries uh, apples it's got strawberries i believe as well uh, coconut shavings uh whatever this is yeah okay from Woolies. I absolutely love it. Berry muesli. That's what it looks like. It's absolutely divine. And I have about a half a cup of it for breakfast. And that would be enough to give me fuel for exercise when I'm busy working out. But I haven't been working out. We need to go and reestablish that whole re regime again because I've messed up like big time. Due to suffering, I've just dropped the ball in the worst way. Mara, I'm going back. That's when I'm not fasting. But currently I am fasting. Uh, so there is no breakfast. And so basically what I what is what fuels my body in the morning is this drink that you're looking at over here that fruit juice that you're looking at back there alongside oh and also added a bit of honey in the fruit juice by the way guys just putting that out there um alongside my coffee my one cup of coffee and that's yeah what i drink and then my one meal a day i tend to have it at around 10 11 p.m at night um after a day of praying and fasting very well so um i just showed you what under heaven the clan k does in order to boost her hair growth from the inside now i'm gonna flip my camera over so you can see me because i bet you're gonna be kind of bored looking at all of these things and not my pretty face so i'm gonna bring my pretty face back and show you what i do in terms of moisturizing my hair the abandonment of my person because of suffering and persecution what it is that i have been abandoning but what i believe has helped anyway despite abandoning uh because it's got these like excellent ingredients right let's flip the camera over